Hi guys, Felix here from FelixFashionReviews.com. Today I'm going to be reviewing my Dolce & Gabbana wool jacket. So this kind of looks like a sweater at first impressions, but it's actually a pretty thick material and it's fully lined. So it is a jacket, there's internal pockets in there. Playing with the zipper here, you can see I'm having a bit of trouble. I don't know what it is when you get to this level of zippers. These are done by Rakangi and they're just a little tricky to work with, but they work. What are you going to do? You can see that it is a pretty sleek silhouette to it, despite how thick the material is, and you'll see that later. I do like the rib detailing at the cuff. You can see that you can pull them up and it'll stay up on your forearms, and that gives a nice casual look to it. So just kind of flopping it around right now. You can see how thick that material is, just me wiggling it around, doing a close-up of the, uh, the rib detailing there. But it's a pretty heavy jacket, despite it having such a sleek silhouette to it, and it really kind of hugs the body. You can see me playing with it here again. It's got uh, some contrasting lining. Uh, underneath it but the material itself really holds that shape pretty well the rib detailing on this jacket and all jackets sort of when you get up to this level is really nice i'm not really sure how they do it or what they weave into the the fabric but it's definitely not like something you'd find on a guest jacket if you get a lower end thing i'm kind of a mass market brand it tends to pill a lot and it loses the elastic over time for some reason, that doesn't happen when you get to these higher end pieces. I have no idea why that is. I don't know anything about that process, but uh, it's just something that exists. And I don't know why that is, but it's really nice and it feels good to the touch, especially when it's on your neck there, because it's a bit of a, a turtleneck collar. You can see me playing with the pockets right now, pocket on each side, and those are snap closures. Uh, once again, Dolce & Gabbana logo. I think these are made by Rakangi too. They stamp all the logo in them. They're decent zippers. Bellman uses Lampo. I find Lampo are a little bit easier, but not by much. These zippers are actually used by Tom Ford and uh, Givenchy and Saint Laurent as well. They're all done by the same people. You can see me playing with the fabric here. There's a bit of a, a woven pattern to it, just to add a little something to the jacket. Zooming in right now, you can see, you know, sort of the grain. It's not really a boiled wool, but it's not a, it's not like a, a sleek wool you'd find in a suit or anything like that. Or like an overcoat, I guess you could say. The fabric, uh, it doesn't really pill, despite uh, it looking like it does, but it will pick up a lot of fluff just because of the way the fabric is. There's nothing you can do about that. Take some tape and, you know, stick it on and pull it off every now and then. You can see me playing with the lining here. It does have two pockets, one on each side. The pockets do have zip closures, which I really like. And the reason why is this is a casual jacket. You're going to be using this to play sports in the fall or summer, Especially if you're playing basketball, something where you're jumping around, you want that zip closure to keep your phone in there. Playing with the lining here, you can see it is a bit of a jacquard woven fabric, and that just adds a little something, so it's not printed, it's actually in the fabric. Playing with the shoulder, no padding or anything like that, it's the same all over, but it is a thick material, so it's really going to hold its shape. At the back here, there's no real styling or anything, just one big piece that's uh, seamed down the middle. Playing with it, you can really see that it is a thick fabric. Anything uh, you know, up to... I should say down to 5 degrees Celsius, you'd probably be okay with just this jacket and maybe a t-shirt or a light sweater underneath. But I mean, overall, it's a really good casual jacket. It's not as fancy as some of the other stuff I've done, but it's it's very, very wearable. You're going to use this a lot. You know, that D-squared piece I did a couple weeks ago. I mean, it's a really cool tuxedo, but you can only wear that, you know, once or twice a year. There's not really a lot of places to wear it. Well, something like this, you're going to get a lot of wear out of. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week.